Hey, everybody. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> um, before we begin, um, just want to acknowledge that we are streaming in from the Boorong and the Wurrung people of the Kulin Nations. Um, and just want to extend our respects to all First Nations people um, on this country, in this land. Uh, and I also wanted to acknowledge uh, what happened in Lebanon today. Um, our thoughts are with the families and people who were affected by that terrible atrocity. Um, and um, on that unfortunate note, I uh, wanted to welcome everybody uh, to the first ever one, two, three film competition awards night. Yay! <laughs> Um, it has been uh, an experience for all of us. We've uh, the first time we've been running this, and um, we've been uh, very happy with all the films that have come in. We are the ones who coordinated this event. <laughs> um, so, excuse me, but my name is Jennifer Tran, <laughs> oh, and I'm John Kassab. <laughs> Should have introduced ourselves. Um, That's true. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah. Shall we begin? Yeah, so um, I wanted to first start by bringing all of our judges into this. Um, Who do we have first? We have um, Carl Fernando. Um, we have Natalie Erica James. Yeah, drum roll! <laughs> we have Ez Dang. Ez Dang. We have Sammy Obama. We have Nikki Tran. And those are, are our they five guests, uh, <laughs> five judges. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, welcome, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Thanks, for uh, thanks so much for coming on this journey with us and for being such awesome judges. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I just wanted to start the uh, proceedings by just talking a bit about um, what we, when we receive films and we watch them, what are the things that we responded to? Um, what do you respond well to? Uh, Carl, did you want to lead the discussion? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, look, I, I, tend, I tend to look for the technical sort of stuff. So like, um, you know, lighting, uh, editing, editing, editing first and foremost, because um, I've I sort of have an editor's eye, I, I think. Um, and I just love it when I think, I think it's the easiest special effect to do. Like if you've got no budget and um, it's something that really stands out, it, it makes makes your, your film a lot more um, believable, I guess, when the editing's done seamlessly. Cause it's something that people don't comment on either. Like if it's done right, people don't notice it. It's so yeah. true. Yeah. Um, Nat, did you uh, did you want to add to this? Uh, in terms of what I look for in films, um, yeah, I, mean, I films would say yeah, I would say I always look at the ideas in a film, and that can be anything from you know massive themes um, to really small ideas or just observations about you know, human nature. Um, yeah, I'm always really charmed by uh, works that, uh, yeah, like just explore, explore concepts in a really kind of thrilling way. So that's one thing I would say. Um, but craft is also another one, of course, as Carl was saying. Ah, uh, cool. And I'm um, Sammy. Um, for me, I always, yeah, focus on the story. Like, um, I don't know, like, I feel like the story has, if the story is intriguing, then you could literally just shoot it on your phone and, and, you know, I could be watching for hours because I'm just focused on like what's happening. But on top of that is also the, the acting delivery, you know, um, delivering it in an honest and compelling way in the moment of what's happening. So I always look for that. Color is also another thing, but that's, yeah, yeah. And uh, Nikki? Um, for me, I guess it's different depending on what genre of film I'm watching. Um, with films like sci-fi or fantasy, you look for 
worlds that are really original and really unique and feel very complete and very detailed. Um, I think in thrillers, it's kind of, well, in a lot of films, the unexpected and not knowing when or how the film is going to end. I think those are the most compelling. It gets to a point where you're like, I don't, I don't know if the characters, what, how the character is going to get out of this situation. Um, I think those films are always really the most interesting. Um, I also like films that combine genres in really interesting ways and do it seamlessly as well. Um, yeah, that's me. And uh, as... Yeah, for me, I look for story and um, the way um, the writer writes actually story and the narrative of it. And then uh, I look for the truthful of the character, which is, you know, whoever actor plays it at. And also the location is a big, it's big for me, um, way setting and, and the music is, it's a big, big thing for me as well. I have to like watch uh, the film, uh, you know, with the lab kind of like uh, sound so I can hear the music. Um, so yeah, so for me, it would be just like the narrative location and the music, because the music, if it doesn't, it speaks to the actual story. For me, that's not a complete um, um, uh, film. Yeah, cool. Um, so sorry, just out of curiosity, which, which film has the best music I'm, for you? For me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For, <laughs> me, for me, it would be a, a Batman. Oh, right on. Yeah, they've got amazing uh, sound, um, you know, um, yeah, just just the sound of Batman film. It's amazing uh, from, you know, dialogues to, you know, to the action, the thriller. And, you know, there's like sense of cal calmness sometimes. And just sometimes there will be no music at all. Um, mm -hmm. And then, and, and that film is just kind of like, it has everything that I wanted to do in, in my projects, basically. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've got, uh, I can see all of our uh, participants are waiting to... Our finalists. Our finalists <laughs> are all waiting to come in. And so I'm going to uh, let each of you guys in and ask you a question about your film. And uh, we will start with uh, Layla Thacker. I hope she's ready. <laughs> you ready, Layla? <laughs> I mean, in that picture, she looks absolutely ready. Just look at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> we're all ready for Hollywood and red carpet. <laughs> all right. Uh, is Layla's microphone or camera? Is Layla there? Ooh. Hey, there she is. Hello. Hey. 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 Hello, judges. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hey. Um, Layla, wow, I can we, see you're all in LA. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't invite me. So. Yeah, except for yeah, Sammy. Sammy. He had like a chewy yeah. COVID. Oh, yeah, of course. Sammy, you're not a record. <laughs> they blame me on COVID, but they didn't invite me. That's the truth. Oh. <laughs> see that the uh, Layla, Layla, we just wanted to, uh, to introduce yourself and your film and uh, what made you come up with that idea. Uh, yeah, so my name's Layla Thacker. I'm a proud Meriam Badalug woman um, from the Torres Strait, uh, living on Kulin land. Yeah, uh, so my film or short film, cracked little film, is called Sliced. Um, and basically the intention behind making that was I was actually looking for more comedic well, I needed to add a comedic scene to my reel, essentially, is what I wanted to do. But all the, you know, comedic scenes that were out there were just a bit like meh, you know, a bit not that great. So I just decided to flex my writing skills and, you know, I don't know. My humor is very a bit cracked anyway. So I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what everybody else thinks, but that was kind of my thing behind it, really. And, and I also just, I, you know, with in particularly writing that um, short, you know, the beginning starts off quite, you know, people of colour dressed like gangsters cruising around like at 
you know, if you first saw that, you would think, oh, up to no good. So I just, I re- I'm really interested in, in breaking down stereotypes and just reclaiming our narratives, you know, for on screen. So that kind of married with comedy, that was kind of the intention behind that. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we're going to bring the next finalist in. Thank you, Layla. We're going to knock you out for just a second. But okay. we'll, um... Thanks, Layla. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. Layla. Thank you. Oh, well, wait. How do I do this? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Learning. <laughs> uh, next, we've got uh, Matthew Victor Pastor. You're coming, but I don't think um, I appreciated your afro today, John. You just your afro is like on point today. I just gotta appreciate that, man. I've got bad afro game. No, it's oh. on point. It's on point. Oh, it is on point. Thank <laughs> you, man. I, 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 it's on point. I got styled. <laughs> oh man. I, I need to. I need that hairstylist for for my hair when I take it out. Hey, Matthew. Hello. Hey. Thank, you hey, us. Thank you for sending us your film. Um, we're wondering if you can introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your film. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, um, I'm Matthew Victor Pastor, and um, this is this is Jumbo, who appears in the film. And um, <laughs> he's Jumbo Seal because he's big. He's Jumbo Seal. And um, <laughs> anyway, so um, basically, um, yeah, um, a character uh, uh, played by Evangeline. Uh, takes the trash down on one one night in the middle of the corona pandemic. Mm. Yeah. A lot going through her mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think it was more about exploring um, the, you know, how everyday tasks can be just so anxiety inducing, I think. Um, I personally um, experienced that even just taking the trash down. So I thought that was an interesting um, idea, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, good luck tonight. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hold you on. Matt. I did learn how to do this a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and so next up, uh, we have a uh, Lancey Fang. Oh, I love all these profile images. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lancey. Hey. <laughs> Meet your judges. <laughs> Hello. Have we got audio? Hey. Hello. Yeah. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your film? Uh, hi, I'm Lancey. Sorry, it's not in the same time when I was watching on Facebook. So uh, <laughs> it's me already. I was still listening to the last person. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> that's all right. Um, yeah, I'm Lancy. Uh, my film is called, of course, I Speak French. And this is originally from a, sh- a cabaret show I wrote called How I Met My Dead Husband. Uh, it was produced by uh, Wit Incorporated Theatre Company. Uh, so because the COVID and we had to cancel our show this uh, year, we got another show in May. Yeah, but then we cancelled it. So we decided to do online con- content. So uh, that part was written, rewritten from How I Met My Dead Husband and I took one little part and rewrote it and made it into a, a screen a script and did the film. Yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for entering it. Um, we <laughs> will move on to our next finalist. Uh, and we have... Sanuri? Sanuri, welcome to the party. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, 
Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have here? Uh, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your film? Um, I'm Sen, and this yes. is the beautiful yeah, Clara, yeah. who Hi. is featured in the film. <laughs> 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 My film is Six Weeks, baby. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> oh, 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 don't. It's anarchy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on with the Facebook lag. Anyway, stuck um, in a time warp. It's baby. And um, so I graduated from drama school last year into this world that we're living in. And um, yeah, just, I guess it was just snippets of my life, of Clara's life, of our life stuck in isolation. And um, that's what it is. Going slowly insane. Going slowly insane, but trying to find the joy and pleasure and happiness in it as well. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, we're going to boot you out now and announce the winner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you might want to rejoin the group, though, because I noticed some people haven't come back. Oh. It's a good. Um, it's all good. Yeah. So um, I reckon it's time to have um oh sorry we're just gonna pop you in the <laughs> waiting room thanks then um we have to invite um uh michael brim manager of arts community learning and library to announce an award all right uh, let's see I reckon by the fourth time we do this, will be so good. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. It's all right, man. It's just teething problems. That's it. <laughs> I'm blaming the internet and COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole new genre. It's this awkward, like, internet <laughs> Zoom moments. <laughs> Right. Hello, Hi, Michael everyone. Byrne. How are you? How are you? Hello. Hey. Fine. How are you? Hey. I've been uh, listening to you on Facebook, and you look like mm. you're having a tremendous amount of fun. So that's great. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, and, 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 and thanks to the city of Maribyrnong for for helping us put this on. And um, it, it's not been a problem a really at all. Great for all of so us, look, um, good evening to you all, and uh, I I too would like to acknowledge that I'm broadcasting tonight from the Kulin Nation and pay my respects to the Wurundjeri and Boon Wurrung elders past and present. Um, look, it's a real pleasure to be here tonight to help celebrate the 123 film competition, which has been supported by Maribyrnong City Council. And Maribyrnong has one of the highest population of artists in Melbourne, along with a number of really significant local artists, organisations such as Scene Space, all of all of whom have been impacted by the closures uh, due to COVID-19. So the Together Apart Rapid Relief Fund was designed to provide the local sector with the opportunity to continue to work, share their practice with the wider community and innovate through a range of digital platforms. We are delighted uh, to be able to support the work of Scene Space and the local First Nations and culturally and linguistically diverse filmmakers. In these times of isolation, we need the arts more than ever to keep us connected. So it's a great thing. A big thank you to the competition coordinators, John and Jen, and to Steve and Dan at uh, Scene Space for getting this project off the ground. Huge congratulations there. Thank you also to the competition judges, Carl, Natalie, Ez, Nikki, and Sammy. 
thanks also to you, the audience out there on Facebook for tuning in and supporting the work of all the entrants. The Popular Choice Award, which I'm going to um, announce, is for the YouTube video on Scene Space channel with the highest number of likes and other engagements. The winner will receive $1,000 towards the production of the winner's next film and the copy of Filmic Pro. So I have the greatest pleasure to announce the winner of the popular choice. And it goes to six weeks BBY by Sanuri Chandra Chandrani. So congratulations. Uh, well deserved. You actually received four, you re received 458 views and 49 likes. So congratulations from me. And, um, and, and Maribyrong, Maribyrong City Council is very proud of you winning this award. So congratulations. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that it's been like hectic and crazy for everyone and especially creatively like yeah I don't know yeah. my hopes are very high especially graduating um straight from drama school being like yeah I'm gonna be in a movie <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen and so it was really nice to have an opportunity to just kind of play around it not be too serious and then it be appreciated so thank you for giving everyone this opportunity and th yeah it's thanks. so fun yeah it's like a fun opportunity to just make something for the sake of making something mm -hmm. yeah super fun yeah, yeah. nice congratulations yeah. Congrats, guys. Congrats. i'm so glad that this has contributed to um your spirits yeah, yeah definitely yeah. fantastic <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the winners and thank you, Michael, um, Pleasure. for announcing our popular uh, choice award. Um, so what's thank next, you, John? We might just pop you or um, in the waiting list and then we'll touch base. Michael, thank you very much. And to our popular <laughs> like award peeps. <laughs> <There> <laughs> okay. Um, so the next award is the Judges Prize. Um, and uh, th these films were uh, rated by uh, Narrative and uh, Craft. And uh, there was another category. N narrative, Narrative, narrative and Craft and Acting. And Acting. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the, uh, the judges, you've all come to your decision. The winner is of course. Hi. Speak. <laughs> Fridge. <laughs> Lancy. Uh, you probably missed this because of the internet lag, but uh, you've won the judges' prize. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you'll be receiving a thousand dollars from Cinespace in the city of Maribyrnong and a copy of Filmic Pro. Um, congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you so much. Do you know what uh, Filmic Pro is? Maybe. Hmm? I... Oh. Well, we'll get a speech first. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, thanks to Sing Space and the team, Jen and John, for this great opportunity. Really appreciate it. And it's really great that we can still, we're so lucky to that we can still make art in this difficult time. So really appreciate that. Um, too many people to thank for this film. Um, Jennifer Piper, definitely, she's a major help of this film, helped me make this. And we'd incorporated um, Elle and Belle and 
Gemma from Juice Box Film. Um, did I forget anyone? <laughs> uh, I also want to thank, um, of course, Arts and uh, Culture Mary Bernong uh, Creative Bring Bing Bang, and also my husband Johan for all the support and family and friends. And thanks to all the judges and thanks again. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Please stay in the waiting room um, and we'll get your details. Um, yay! Thank you. <laughs> and uh, finally, we have one last gift to give. Um, uh, this film got the third most, uh, uh, actually the third highest interactions from both the judges and uh, popular. Um, and uh, this person will win a copy of Filmic Pro, uh, which is a fantastic piece of software for your uh, smartphone. It supercharges your camera and uh, I've been using it all week and it's a bit fantastic, I have to say. Shout out to Filmic Pro. Um, and the winner... The winner... <laughs> the winner, unfortunately... Um, is not in our Facebook group. So we're currently, oh, hold on, oh, here oh, she is. Yes, oh, she yes, is, yes, she's yes, here. Does yes, she know, does yes, she know, does she know? I don't know. <laughs> and, and, and it is! Uh, hold on, wait, does she know? <laughs> oh, we're getting, we're getting that, that. <laughs> wait, okay. <laughs> what is Layla happening? <laughs> <laughs> that, was so that, that was the most stressful five minutes ever. <laughs> you made it. Welcome back. Uh, congratulations. You are the Spirit Award winner. You'll be receiving a copy of Filmic Pro for your phone. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. Do I get to say a speech? speech? Yeah, do a speech. Oh, okay. All right. Um, 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 yeah, shout out to um, First Nations folk all round. Um, pay my respects to Wurundjeri people and elders. Um, and also, I really want to thank... Um, I guess you guys, you know, for recognizing this space and holding a culturally safe space for emerging filmmakers. Um, thank you, Cinespace. Thank you, Maribyrnong uh, Council, City Council. Um, and shout out to Sunny Eswalia, my um, on-screen sibling. And thank you so much to my expert um, pal in film, um, Chris Baker as well. Um, infinite gratitude to you both. Always was, always will be sacred Indigenous lands. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you. Um, yes, hang in there in the waiting room. Um, and yes, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, all the three awards that we announced. Um, and just like to thank you once again, uh, all the judges uh, for judging all the work. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your valuable um, critique and input. Thank you. Congratulations to all the winners of tonight. Um, and we would also like to thank you, uh, Cinespace, uh, for actually uh, putting this up uh, and for contracting uh, the both of us in running this event. Uh, and yes, thank you to uh, City of Barabinong for funding this as part of their uh, Rapid um, Together Apart uh, uh, program funding. Um, and yes, so... Um, Thank you everyone for our very first one, two, three film competition. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Have a lovely night, everyone. Um, and stay safe, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. One, two, Thank three. You. <laughs> Bye. Well, yeah. friends, by yeah. the way. Yeah.